Oh, a oh, my fishy. I oh, got a beautiful fish. Oh, it's Nemo. It's Nemo and his father. Oh, and I got an alien. There better be a teddy bear somewhere around here. There better be. This is my. This is my bedroom. Oh! Oh, look at them. <laughs> what the hell? All right. So this game is like the boogeyman. If you're wondering right now, if you're if you're opening this video right now. It's just like the Boogeyman, but Frosty Edition. Frosty the Snowman Edition. Oh, man. Can, can I open stuff? So we haven't started the game yet. Oh, Teddy Bear! I knew it! Oh, my God. You, we're going to get through this. Me and you, Teddy Bear. Me and you. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do this together. Me, you, and Santa Claus. Oh, we got this, Teddy Bear. But before we start the game... We're, oh, we got Nightmare Night, we got Continue, we got New Game, and we got Mystery Door. Oh, of course we got to see what's behind the Mystery Door. But first, let's see if Mom is here. Is it Mommy? Mommy? What? what? Okay, that closed the whole game. The whole game was closed. What the hell? Is it going to close the game again? We got to see. Oh, it does say quit. Okay. Okay, yeah, we don't want to quit. <laughs> what the hell? And by the way. Guys, oh, look at look at my clock, and it works. Wow. I just woke up. My throat feels very groggy, but I want to play the video game for you guys. I want to play uh, the games. We got to see what's behind the mystery door. We can't see what's behind the mystery door. What could be inside? Yeah, what could be inside the mystery door? Let's play a new game. We're playing a new game. We're a boy. We're not a girl. We're a boy. Oh, pick up. Okay, E, E to pick up. So can I, uh, there we go. Oh, oh, are we, we're building a snowman. I've always wanted to build a snowman. It doesn't snow much around here to build a snowman. We got, we got his nose. We got it. We got his nose. Is it, is this where the nose goes? The nose goes here, right? No, no, it goes here. There we go. There we go. What, what is this? Is this dog poo? Is the, oh! Snowman is coming together. Hell yes. Hell yes, Mr. Snowman. Oh, wait a minute. We're, we're going we're gonna to save the hat for last. Because Frosty, the hat, he always comes to life when the hat comes on. That's, that's the way the story goes in Frosty the Snowman. So. Oh, it's very cold out here. I wonder where my parents is. My parents aren't home today. They must be, they must be out getting... Christmas presents. Of course. It all makes sense. They're going out to get Christmas presents for Delirious. Oh. Frosty the snowman. He was a very awesome snowman. Oh, he's so beautiful. He's so beautiful. Now, what, do I push him over? Or what, what do... Oh, I did it. Oh, I love this music. Ding, dun, dun, ding, dun, dun, ding, dun, dun, ding, dun, ding, dun, ding, dun. Clockwork Wolf presents the best horror game since Boogeyman. Frosty Nights. Oh, Mr. Deer. Hello, Mr. Deer. What are you doing spying on my Frosty, huh? Oh, look in the sky. It's the Aurora. That's pretty cool. That's really awesome. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. It's Vados. I always knew it was you. The villainous. The villainy. Oh. Woo. I'm really excited to play this game, guys. I hope it's good. I hope it's a good one. Oh, we're back. Look at this. Oh, we got some paper. Shut up, Vettos! Got some paper. Got some paper. I hid my story tapes around my room to stop my mom from finding them. I'm not sleeping yet. I might find them and play them in my tape player. I won't have time to listen to them again. I have five tapes. So we need to find five tapes in my room, my beautiful room. 
or to him. Don't stay up too late, okay? You've got your first day at school tomorrow. And yes, no mommy. listening to those horror stories anymore. You I know they give you nightmares. Sweet dreams. Love you. I love you too, mommy. Mommy! Mommy, if I have nightmares, can I come to your room? Because uh, this room gets scary at night sometimes with all these damn toys. I think they come into life and stuff. I don't know what to do in my life. Oh, flashlight! Of course. <gasps> Teddy bear? Teddy bear? Teddy bear! Oh, no! Mommy! Mommy, I lost Teddy bear! I lost Teddy bear. Why? Why did I lose Teddy bear? Teddy bear, uh, better than basketball. Oh, eh. Uh, yeah, I got the basketball. <laughs> basketball of justice! Oh, okay, so. We lost Teddy bear already. Already, Teddy. Oh, got a tape. We got tape. And, a, and, a, uh, and there was a lot of batteries in there as well. But let's listen to the tape. See how the story is going. Frosty Nights. Chapter 1. Welcome, children, to a wonderful, magical, and yet grisly story that old St. Nicholas never wanted you to know. This story takes us back a long, long time ago. When old Nicholas still had flecks of ginger in his beard. We'll just call him by what everyone today know him as. Santa. We will start from the very beginning. When Santa was still scouring the world for the perfect place to build his workshop. He found none better than the North Pole where magic seeped readily from the earth. So much magic was there that Santa learned to use the magic in ways he had never dreamt. His body no longer grew old. He could slow time around him to a near complete stop. And as long as he gathered enough magic, he knew he could travel the world in what to us was a single day. Even slowing time as he could, Santa quickly realized to make enough toys for every child in the world would take him far too long. So Santa placed his hands into the snow and called to Mother Nature herself for help. Mother Nature was gentle as she was wild. She saw the kindness in Santa's heart and agreed to help by melding Santa's magic and Mother Nature's spirit into the snow itself. The first of the snowmen bubbled up from the ground like liquid snow. Yet unmoving and lifeless just as the snowman we know today, Mother Nature seemed to pause before then placing a carrot for its nose. You see, everything that is alive requires a small part of life to begin with. The acorn for the oak tree, the egg for the red robin, and the love of a mother and father for humanity. The carrot twitched, and ever so slowly, eyes within the sphere of snow began to appear and opened for the first time. Santa slanted his head to the side in a curious thinking gaze as he took off his scarf and hat and placed it upon the snowman. Taking a step back, he looked again and smiled. The snowman smiled back. As Santa the father and Mother Nature as the mother, the snowmen were all too happy to help Santa build his workshop and all the toys for every child in the world. Well, damn, that was a story. Oh, oh my God. So that was the first tape. We got four more tapes to go. Are, there in, are they in my room? Can I open these? No, I can't open these. What? Oh, we got a blow dryer. Yeah, damn blow dryer. <laughs> a damn blow dryer. We'll just put it. Oh. No. No. No, we lost the blow dryer. No. No. Can I crouch? Oh, well, I hope we didn't need that. Um, Remember, kids, never put your blow dryer on your bed. Or you will lose it forever. Forever. Okay. Already? Already? What, are you, what am I supposed to do with this? What the hell? Um. I don't know. What the hell? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? How did... How did eh, eh, I need batteries. I need batteries. That, 
Any batteries? Even the, the... Eh. Okay, okay, whatever. So, my flashlight doesn't work. My, uh, the batteries doesn't work. Oh, here's the blow dryer. What? It respawned? It respawned? Thank you, Santa. Thank you for that, Santa. I don't, I don't quite know how to reload the, the, oh, there we go. Oh, maybe I just go in and, like, just look down in it and, and it reloads. Okay, okay, okay. Are there any more? Oh, here's another tape. I found another one. Look at that. I found another tape, guys. Oh. More. More Christmas stories. I love these Christmas stories. Chapter 2. Many years had passed, and children throughout the world had Christmas within their hearts. Santa had delivered toys year after year to the children of the world, and the world was a better place for it. However, there were children who were not happy with Santa's toys alone, Naughty and children. demanded more and more. The parents of many of these children succumbed to their child's wishes oh, and God, began to buy more and more as oh, each no. year passed. Each year, more and more trees were getting cut down. Toy factories could not keep up with the demand, and forests were not being replanted and regrown as Santa did with his magic. No! Mother Nature watched as the birds, squirrels, deer, bears, and countless more of her children were left homeless no! and died. This is a sad Mother story. Nature once saw humanity as her children. But each year, as the destruction for toys carried on, she became more and more furious. Santa understood Mother Nature's anger and tried to make amends by creating the naughty list. Any child who was undeserving would not receive Santa's toys, and the spare magic from making those toys would be given to the forests of the planet to help grow and recover. Mother Nature was happy for a time, until even this did not offset humanity's greed. Humans, now with great machines, powered from the fossils of her most ancient children, began to pollute the air, water, the earth. Forests vanished before her eyes, and entire species began to die. Oh my god! Mother Nature wept for many years, hoping humanity would hear her and stop the pain they were causing. Her cries were drowned out by the drills boring into the planet, the saws biting into the trees, and the roaring of flames in engines. The pain turned to anger, and the anger to fury. Santa was helpless as Mother Nature's suffering began to warp the minds of the snowmen. One by one, they stopped working on toys and slowly but surely faded into the distance as they left the workshop behind. No! Santa eventually found the elves high up in the mountains that were glad to be of help to Santa. However, our story is with the snowmen and not Santa. So the snowmen were the elves before the elves. I've never even heard this story before. This is this is good. The story's getting good, guys. The story's getting good, and it's very sad. All the poor animals. Where the where the raccoons? What happened to the raccoons? Get out of here, basketball, basketball, whatever, whatever you are. Now where is the next tape? Hello, hello. Is there no, is there a tape around here, sus? What is this? Big old alien ball. Big old alien ball. Oh, oh. No, we can't open those. So there's got to be another tape somewhere, guys. Another tape. It's hiding. We must find it. In here? Right, right over here? Oh, yes! The third tape. The third tape. <laughs> um, no, don't put it in the fish tank. There we go. There we go. Let's, uh, let's, let's reboot our, our flashlight. three. John had just gotten home from school. He quickly grew excited as he spotted the snowman outside his bedroom window. John's dad often made him surprises, and he quickly ran out to decorate the snowman. John used his favorite scarf and hat and found the shiniest rocks he could for the buttons. John was very proud of his decorations, and soon it was time for him to go to bed. 
Looking out the window, he smiled at the snowman as his eyes slowly began to close. John awoke with a chill in the air Ooh. and snow on his bed. What? He opened his eyes to see the window was wide open. Oh no! Confused and sleepy, he got up and closed the window. As he looked out, however, he noticed the snowman's hat was missing. Oh. It must have blown off in the wind, he thought. Yeah, Upon surely. getting back into bed, he found the hat on top of his covers. He stopped and thought for a moment. His mom must have taken it off and put it there for him. After all, he no longer had a hat to wear for school tomorrow, and it was very cold outside in the mornings. The next day, John returned again from school, and a second snowman was right next to the first. He couldn't believe it. His dad had built him a second. He went into the closet and found his box of old worn clothes, hats and scarves too tattered to wear, but sentimental enough to keep. John decorated the second, and again smiled with pride, as it almost seemed like the snowman smiled back at him. A trick of the imagination. And John thought how cool it would be if snowmen really were alive. Oh, that'd be so cool. Oh, that'd be so cool. Okay, so what was that? Four tapes or three? Three or four. Now we need another tape. Another tape. I bet you it's going to be in the boxes in the closet. 100%. I, I don't know what really charges my batteries. I have no idea. Oh, it's 21, 20, 20. Thank you, Santa. I have no idea what really charges my batteries, but they're, they're fully charged now. We, 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 we need a tape! What? How the fuck did I get back here? What? 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 What, just, what the hell? Why did, why did I teleport back over there? What the hell? Okay. Alright. Okay, we're gonna play these games. We're gonna play these games. Now, what, where could the other tape be? Hmm. Oh, of course! Of course, it was here all along. I can't see a damn thing. The flashlight isn't that great. <laughs> Come here. Come here, you scumbag tape. All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Chapter 4 The sound of snow filled wind blowing through the room. The screech of an open window hinge as it bangs to and fro. John opens his eyes once again, tiredly shuffling out of bed to close his window. John freezes as his hand reaches for the latch. Only one of the two snowmen are outside his window. Why has someone moved it? John hears a dripping sound coming from his closet. John may only be a child, but he's never been scared of the dark or monsters. He's too clever to believe in fairy tales. So why would monsters be any more real than those? He heads over to the closet, and with a gentle pull, begins to open the door. Wait, wait. is that my cue to what? Well, the door's already open, sir. The door is already open. You can't get me with this, with this trickery. Am I John in this story? Oh, oh, the last tape, guys. So this, this whole intro... It's just about the story. Just about the story. No action. No gameplay, really. Just story time with H2O Delirious. Chapter 5 dun, dun, dun. John's vision begins to adjust into the darkness from staring at the bright moonlight outside. Nothing. His closet is empty besides a few boxes. The dripping sound continues, though, so he steps inside to try and listen to where it's coming from. As he does so, he hears a loud thud near his still open window. John pokes his head out of the closet, and there in front of the window is the snowman that only a minute ago was standing outside. The snowman is different, lifelike, with sharp, pointed teeth. And a hungry grin curling more and more to the sides as it starts to move closer. 
John is frozen in fear. He doesn't understand. There is no logical explanation. No, oh, he slowly mommy. backs away further into the closet. He feels something wet on his head. Drip, drop, drip, drop. As John looks up, the missing snowman is on the ceiling, holding itself up with big, branched arms. John sees the other snowman now in front of the closet, arms reaching. The closet Mommy! door begins to close, and complete darkness envelops John. Rough knotted branch fingers wrap around John's head, and a gruesome snap and popping sound echoes through oh my the room God. from that dark closet. John is never seen again. The house is put up for sale shortly after. However, with the disappearance of John well known throughout the town, a young boy who suddenly vanished without a trace from his bed one frosty night, the house remained unsold and empty for many years. Until this night, in fact. Which, my child, is where our story begins. Are we in the same house? What? 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 Oh, the tape's dying. Oh, scared the hell out of me. My God, what, what, what's up with the story? What are we doing? My, my I should have, I should have listened to the stories. You told me not to. You told me not to, and I listened to them. I should not have done it. I'm a naughty boy. I know I'm a naughty boy. I'm gonna put this stuff back in the, uh, back in the cabinet. There we go. Oh! What? Oh, I'm draw I, I, I drew some more. Alright. Strategy plan. The snowman is coming. I have to prepare. I need to find something to scare snowmen. Something to see in the dark. Something to uh, bind both of them together. Trying to swap between them would be dangerous. I should bring everything to the table. Oh, teddy bear. All right, so ta oh yeah, right, that's the table. That's the table. Okay, so first things first, we need this. So this is gonna scare snowmen away because they don't want to melt. They surely do not want to melt. So that's number one. Now number two, oh tape. Here we go. Got some tape. Got some scotch tape, guys. Some some damn scotch tape. And it, oh, it's kind of awkward. What? 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 The, whoa, whoa, what just happened? Oh! Look what I just made! I got a damn gun! Oh, I got a damn gun! Alright, activation plan. Before each night, I should search for useful things and put them where they will help. Uh, best defensive position to start right. Oh, on the bed. So, so, shut up, Venus! You know it helped to me! Oh, my batteries. My batteries are always dead. And I don't really know what, uh, what charges my, my batteries. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, so, do I have anything that needs, uh, you know what? I don't think I need anything. Oh, oh look at you! Oh, Mr. All High and Mighty! What the hell do you think you're doing in my house? What the hell do you think you're doing in my house? Okay, well, you know what? We're, we're just going to go to bed. We're just going to go to bed tonight. I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy. Um. Oh, yeah. Night one. It was a night before Christmas. Much like tonight. Oh, oh, Santa has a little counter. And I can't get out of bed. I can't get out of bed. <laughs> if I remember how Boogeyman started. Oh! What the fuck? Die! Die, you son of a bitch! Oh, it melted. He melted. <laughs> that is right, sir. That is right. Get melted, Jack Frost. Oh. Okay. This is this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. We don't want to run out of our batteries. So we're gonna we're gonna keep our batteries. We're gonna keep a watchful eye on that one because that one's that one's evil. That one's evil. And they're gonna try. They're gonna they're gonna keep trying to to sneak into our bedrooms and, and murder us violently. But we're not gonna have none of that. I want to know where Teddy Bear went. What? what the hell? Oh! 
Mr. Deer! Be careful! There's, there's villainous, villainous Frosties out there! Mr. Deer! Run! Run, Mr. Deer! Save yourself! What the fuck? Oh god. Oh god, he's opening the window! He opened the window! No! No, maybe I was supposed to like like blow the, the blow dryer or something in that direction. Okay, so now he's got two entrances. He's got the uh he's got the he's got the he's got the closet and he's got the window. And maybe the door right there. Closet, window, door. There oh oh and there's a vent right there, but I do not know if he can come from the vent. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright, you know? Monsters aren't real, Santa Claus. Monsters not real at all. I don't believe in them. And they're not coming through my window snatching my peoples up because I'm my peoples. And they they ain't, they surely ain't snatching me up. Ain't nobody snatching delirious up, up in here. This is only night one, Santa Claus. You think I'm scared of night one? Hell no! Hell no, delirious is not scared of night one. I just want to know where the hell Teddy Bear went. He left me. Why did Teddy Bear leave me on, on the most important night of the night? Are we good? Is everything good? I think everything's good. I can't get up. Won't let me. Won't let me. Mr. Santa? How, how long do we gotta wait? Do we gotta wait, uh... 12 minutes? Is that, is, is that, is that the timer? I don't know. I don't know. What, 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 what? Oh! Oh, we got an emergency, Mom! Whoa, Mom! That is not you! Oh my god, that was creepy! <laughs> Mom? Mom? Let me shut this damn door. The hell do you think you're doing? You are not my mother! Oh, that son of a bitch. What the hell? Oh my god, that was creepy. That was actually really creepy. Oh. Hello. I'm just going to keep focus forward because to the left over here is really dark. To the right over here is really dark. And I feel like I can definitely hear him. No! Oh, no. Like, what am I supposed to do in that situation? Do, can you stop them from, from opening the windows? I can't, sh I can't go over there and shut the windows. But I can shut the door if I want to. So, so now it's got one, two... Three. Three points that they can come and get me. Three points. And! And! Don't forget! There are two of them! There are two of them. Oh. Santa! Santa, hurry up! Count faster, you son of a bitch! Please! Please, Santa! Please. These damn snowmen are coming after me because my, my parents bought me too many toys. And those toys cut down too many trees. And those trees made too many... Animals, homeless. Now I know it's a sad story, but I need my toys. And if if those animals need a family, need a home, they can live here with me, and I'll I'll pet them, I'll feed them, I'll, I'll show I'll show them a good life, a great life. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. I'm just a child. I don't know. I don't. I didn't know that the toys came from 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 animal families. I have no idea. Frost. Back the fuck off. Oh, did you melt? Did... Something else happened. Something else happened. Something else happened. <laughs> he melted. Frosty melt. Oh, they could. I wonder if he could come from under the bed. Because the boogeyman, he could come from under the bed. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good, guys. We're good. We got uh, we're five minutes. Five minutes in, and I'm feeling like a damn professional. This is only night one. This is going to be the easiest night. I remember in Boogeyman, the last night was terrible. Luckily, I can hear them very well. I can hear them extremely well. Oh, Mr. Alien. Mr. Alien. What'd you do with Teddy Bear? I know it was you, Mr. Alien. Take my teddy bear friend. He's my best friend. The bestest! Oh! It's turning daytime! Yes, Santa! We did 
did it! We survived the night! Hell yes! <laughs> so it's six minutes. So after six minutes, we're good. Hell yes. Okay, okay. That's right, Frost. Oh, God, he's creepy. Look at that smile. He's mad. He's mad. He's mad he didn't get in my house. And so he's going to get back up. And God, Frosty, what the hell happened to you? Oh, no. Yeah, he's, he, he called for backup. The son of a bitch just called for backup. Oh! Oh, so it's another night, I see. Do we have any new... Oh, we do. But shut up, Veros! The hell? All right. I should look for things that make noises and try to put them in places that will alert me to where the snowman is coming from. So teddy bear. Oh, I need to find teddy bear. I need to get back into bed when I'm finished. So we need, we need teddy bear. We need bells. And we need um like a little dingy ling pingy ling thing. So first things first. <gasps> teddy bear. Is this where you've been the whole time? Where the hell? Oh, oh, teddy bear. What the hell are you doing flying around the room like this, teddy bear? Or where, where am I supposed to? Am I supposed to just like put it down next to the thing? Oh, oh, there he goes. So that's where teddy bear goes. And then we got uh, the bells. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Got the bells. Got the bells. Nope, doesn't go there. Does it go here? Nope, doesn't go there. Does it go there we go. Oh, oh, this is beautiful, guys. This is fucking beautiful. This is the beautiful. Okay. Oh! oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, so they can't come through the vents. Those damn, those damn creepy bastards. Does it go here? Oh, it doesn't go there. So where did, where did, where does this go? Oh, okay. So we have, we have the door, the window. Oh, and we're going to sleep. We're going to sleep. Oh, oh, I, oh, I had the blow dryer. Okay, we're good. We're good. So we have the uh we have the closet, the front door, I mean I mean the yeah the, the main doorway and the window over there. So we gotta we just gotta watch forward and and that vent over there in the corner right there. Because I'm pretty sure since we seen him in the they're definitely in the vents now, guys. They're definitely in the vents, and I'm not liking this situation. This shitation. Now, in book What the fuck? What was that? Ball? Ball? It just rolled right through the it just rolled right through the wall. Santa! Santa, hurry up and count. We gotta make it in six minutes. This is, this is night two. This is night two. We gotta make Oh! Oh, we we, we drew a new painting, uh, a, a new picture of Frosty. Frosty the snowman. We have droned. Oh no, a blizzard! Oh my god! <laughs> There's a blizzard outside. And Frosty the snowman's No! No! Oh, he opened the window. Okay, so I don't think you can stop them from opening the windows. You can't stop them from opening the windows. That's fine. That's fine. Bring it out, bro! No! Get the hell out of my life, Frosty! Melt! That's right. That's right. Oh, Frosty this dead man. He's gonna melt in my bedroom. And I'm gonna laugh on him and drink his water because that's all he is. I'm not afraid of Frosty. I'm never gonna be afraid again. Santa Claus is right here and so is Teddy Bear. <laughs> okay, okay, the game is, the game is changing. The game is changing today. Okay, okay. We'll play like this, Frosty the Snowman's. The blizzard's gone. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. The blizzard's gone. Everything, everything's fine. Everything's fine. We we survived two minutes. We need we need to survive four more minutes, and we're we're good. Oh, I see you. I see you, Mr. Frosty. <laughs> Be melted, Frosty. Santa, you see this? You see the Christmas spirit you have you have put on, you have unleashed onto this world, Santa? Listen, I, I'm, I'm just a child. I don't, I don't deserve this in my life right now. All right, my mom is on the other side of that that wall. Look, see, she just t turned off the light. You see that? You see that? She, that's when she gets angry. Is when she turns off the light. She turns off the light. <laughs> Um. No! Hell no! Go, but go away! You're not allowed. 
Oh, 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 my train set, my train set is turned on. My train set is just trying to distract me, guys. The train set is trying to distract me. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Will you quit? You creepy, creepy person. All right, before, before we shut this one, before we shut the door, we gotta shut it, we gotta shut it, we gotta shut it, we gotta shut it. Please, please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. I don't wanna be eaten today. Man, is it? Man, is it? Three more minutes, Santa. Santa, three more minutes, I'm trying to get in my damn bedroom. <laughs> oh, it's so creepy. It's so creepy when it's quiet. Oh, holy shit! <laughs> oh, oh. oh, Mr. Deer! Mr. Deer, get in, get in, get away, get away, Mr. Deer! They're gonna, they're gonna kill you! They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna... Oh, I'm trying to use you as, 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 as a distraction. I see it, I see it now. You're working with them, Deer. You're working with them. What the hell? Of course you're working with them. It's your, it's your homes. It's your time at home, sir, has been taken away. Of course. Oh, get the hell out of my life. That's right, melt all over the floor. M mommy's gonna be wondering why why I, I'm spilling water all over my bedroom floor. She's, she's gonna be mad at me, Mr. Frosty. To hell. I know you wanna come inside and play, but you know, I, I, I don't play that way. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not playing that way at all, Mr. Frosty. Mr. Frosty. So the flashlight, doesn't really, it doesn't scare them at all. It just helps me see a little bit better. Because if I, if I shine it in their faces, boom. They, they don't get scared at all. We're good. So we got a clock over there. Oh, one more minute. It's turning daytime. We got it. We did it, guys. This is it. This is easy. E oh, oh. Santa, Santa, are you on top of the house, Santa? Santa? Oh my god, I got tinglys all over my arms. Tinglys! Where's he at? Where's he at? He's, 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 <laughs> he's somewhere. He's trying to sneak in from somewhere. We got a minute! 20 seconds! 20 seconds! Oh, I see you! <laughs> Get the hell out of my life! Alright, alright. My, my flashlight's running very low. Flashlight's running very low. I can see the next couple of nights being difficult but we did it we survived the second night santa that's right thank you teddy bear thank you the pingy jingling things on the on the walls and thank you all for watching let me know if you want me to continue the next night i hope you enjoy and that is a creepy that's a creepy snowman right there guys very creepy please drop a like Leave a comment, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out, everybody. Goodbye. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, no. Oh, no. We got a new. We got a new. We got a new snowman in town, guys. We got a new snowman. All right. Peace out, everybody. Goodbye. Oh, God. Um, please. Please. Oh, my God. I'm so proud to be a part of this great big family. Never gonna take this away from me. I'm in the delirious army, delirious army. I'm so proud to be a part of this great big family. You're never gonna take this away from me.